Welcome back into Talking Fedgeberry. Joining me today from the Department of Aid, Trade Consumer Protection, we got a brand new face. Very excited. Welcome, Trisha Collins Thank to the you. show. Trisha, how are you doing? I'm doing well. So excited to be here. We are excited to have you. Welcome to Talking Fitchburg, and uh, we're we're going to be talking about uh, a very uh, a good topic today, uh, in in regards to uh, shopping season. Everybody is uh, so excited to get out there. Probably has already done most of their shopping. Um, unlike uh, myself and Andrew, uh, the other person uh, controlling the show here. Uh, we got to do our shopping yet, but uh, gift cards is where it's at for us. And uh, we want to talk about gift cards, uh, both on the sales end and uh, on scams. And make sure you're protected and understand, uh, because uh, very popular, maybe even more popular this year. Don't know, but uh, either way, uh, let's just start in general uh, with gift card sales. Uh, tell us uh, on the shopping front, uh, uh, what should we be watching for? Yeah, gift cards make, you know, great purchases. And I'm thinking about those too as I prepare for the holiday season. So you want to make sure you're looking at the fine print on the gift card. Is there any inactivity fee? For example, if you purchase it but don't use it for quite a while, could the balance be reduced? So you want to look for that. You also want to pick up that card before you buy it and make sure the stickers that are covering maybe that pin number are still there. Nothing's been scratched off to expose anything where it may have already been activated before you've purchased it. And then when you do um, go through the checkout line, be sure to keep that activation receipt that the um, cashier will give you. And you can give that to the recipient of the gift card so they have that in case there are any um, problems or concerns with that um, card when they receive it. Yeah, very important to check uh, something that uh, maybe wasn't uh, we thought of when we went shopping uh, for cards uh, when they first came out. Uh, on the recipient end too, uh, something where I am very also very poor at we're just pointing out all of my flaws on this show today uh is uh using these cards quickly and uh talk about uh the recipient and what they should uh, be uh, prepared for yeah you want to first make sure you're keeping that card secure so you don't lose it or misplace it some people you know maybe want to make a photocopy of the front and back of that card along with the receipt just so you have it in case you do misplace it um, but then think about using it fairly quickly. So again, as I mentioned earlier, some of the cards may have fees that if you don't use it for a certain amount of time, it decreases the value of the card. So using it rather quickly after you first get it is always a good tip. And then, um, you know, keep in mind if the store closes, then that gift card will probably be um, unable to be used at that, that, that location anymore. So another reason to use it shortly after you receive it. Yeah, and uh, the jumping ahead here to uh, gift card resale. So somebody, uh, you know, if they have a card, maybe a, a store is going out of business, something that you want to keep an eye on this year, certainly. Uh, but uh, buying gift cards directly from from the, the, the place of purchase or buying them from a Craigslist or eBay or YouTube, what, what would you recommend here? Yeah, we recommend that you purchase them directly from the retailer or an authorized merchant. If you're going to buy them from a third party, make sure it's someone you know and trust. Um, because again, if you buy it secondhand from someone who you don't know, it may not have any value to the card. It could it could be already used or something like that. So, yeah, very important uh, one. I always see them pop up every once in a while, uh, even on like a Facebook uh, marketplace, and I'm always like, yeah, don't uh, think I like that idea. Uh, sticking in that same uncertainty, talking about gift card scams overall. Uh, certainly, there's a lot of phishing calls out there. Mail, you name it, they're out there for you. But uh, bottom line is, if they're they're asking you to pay by uh, gift card, it's probably a a sign. Yeah, you don't want to, if someone's requesting you pay by a gift card, a prepaid debit card, it's usually a scam. Um, those forms of payment are untraceable and non-refundable, so you really want to be cautious if you're ever getting asked to make a payment through those methods. Um, and yeah, you're absolutely right. If you get an email or a text that um, says, hey, you want a gift card, um, you want to be careful about those two and make sure that it's not, it could potentially be a phishing attempt to get personal information for you, asking you to fill out information before you get that gift card or click on a link and then it downloads malware onto your computer. So you want to be really cautious about that. You know, if someone's calling you about that, asking for information, just hang up. Um, it's, it's, it's a scam. 
Yeah, and uh, there is no, it, it can be government calls, it, it can be any anything, but uh, if, if, does the government ever ask you to pay by gift card? I mean, really? No, the government won't <laughs> ask you to pay anything by gift card or prepaid debit card or a wire transfer. They're not going to ask and demand payment immediately on the phone. You can always hang up and then independently look up that agency organization's phone number and contact them and find out what's going on. Um, but yeah, don't be pressured into, you know, a high pressure sales uh, call or a threatening, intimidating call. You just want to hang up on those. Trista, I bet you that there's two things that you're going to share with us here in just a moment. A is if you think you are scammed or want to report it, uh, where can we go? And I bet you you have a lot of resources out there that uh, go right through all of these uh, great topics. Yeah, absolutely. You're right on. So if you have received a call or an email or text regarding this and you want to file a complaint, you can reach out to DADCAP at dadcap.wi.gov, or you can call our consumer protection hotline at 1-800-422-7128. And you can go to our webpage at dadcap.gov and we have fact sheets um, that talk about all these issues. And now we have some great videos out there too that you can watch, uh, lots of resources to help you through these um, consumer protection topics. Trisha, awesome job. Welcome to the team and uh, glad to have you on the show today. Great information. And yeah, I think uh, if we can practice uh, the stuff you just shared with us, we'll have a, a safe and uh, happy uh, holiday along with just uh, overall being safe when it comes to gift cards. Thank you so much. Great job. And we'll check back in with you real soon. All right. Thank you. You bet. Uh, Trish Collins, uh, welcome to the team. First time on Talking Fitchburg. And uh, I can tell that we're going to have a, a good working relationship here as we uh, continue to provide uh, great updates. Again, hit the website, DATCP. They've got great resources out there. And please report it, report it, help them find, uh, help them help you uh, find these folks that are uh, targeting uh, everyone at this point. Take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh.